we are back playing Find the Worms, a very long overdue update. Um, so please see my first YouTube video for the other worms. I'm still absolutely rubbish at the Towers of Hell, even though they have been made easier. So there are some still up there for you to get that I haven't got yet. <laughs> I'm going to have to practice. So we're back in the grasslands area and we have to type in the surveillance devices in my home to get access. Don't forget that full stop or else it won't give you access. And we have a bunch of eyes in the corner. So once you collect that worm there, you need to go ahead and you need to jump through. And you'll see a picture of <laughs> weird Ronald McDonald. And we are through to McDonald's. It is slightly glitchy, um, and the first person shift lock perspective does help when searching around the actual building itself. It is super kind of dimpsy and dark, so I do apologise. Um, this is where you can just see that the camera angle can have an effect on the light source as well. So outside, you have got the police officer. This has been made easier. Um, on the first game, I could not find McDonald's for love the money and the developer came on and said that you had to run around in circles inside that surveillance in your home area. Not that anyone would ever think to do that. Um, so it's nice it's been made a bit simpler. So you have a worm sat in the booth there. You've obviously got the one behind the counter. So the Kanye West one is up on the roof of McDonald's. We have the Ronald McDonald worm inside the kind of play area. It did take me a little while to spot this one, but the doppelganger is actually the one on the ceiling there, and it's the same as the one in the booth. Very sneaky there. Making our way back into the volcano and we have the secret entrance where Ringworm was. So you can just see the grey pattern there, so jump over it to avoid dropping down and hit the eye and we get teleported to this new area. And we can get the worm in the corner of the room. Some of these aren't updated ones, they're ones that I was missing from the previous video that I've happened to find. The developer's done a great job um, of making this game easier. Um, I did feedback to say that it was so complicated. <laughs> it was impossible, it literally pickled my brain the first time that I played this game. Um, I still had moments where I was pickling my brain, um, but it made it a tad more enjoyable now. Some of the areas of this game are actually um, easier. 
especially for an iPad user. I'm still trash at the obbies, but that's my fault, not theirs. This is the updated Tower of Hell in Lava. And it is a lot easier um, to get through this now. Although I didn't finish it. <laughs> I can't tell you how chuffed I was to get that jar. <laughs> I never went anywhere close the first time I played this game. I was so super chuffed to get that high in the zombie. So when you're jumping around those, be super close and don't do what I did, hit those till bricks. Obviously, if you carry on up, you will get the other worms. I did feature this um, in my last video. And I would just like to say, I knew it! I knew it! So I found this little area in my first video, but nothing was in here. And look, there's now a worm! I called it! <laughs> so Boiled is actually in this area now. I don't know if it was glitching and it wasn't working, because obviously Boiled was on the list um, on the last video. But he is in there now. So for the beast, um, it's just a case of hanging around on the roof of the castle um, and then he does appear and I mean just check him out, he is so cool, I love that one, I love these monster worms, they are ace. So I do, I'm not sure why the light percentage is still stuck at 50%, um, the developer has done some great work making this game easier. Um, so I do think that it does deserve a higher percentage rate. I enjoy challenge. It's, you know, it's a nice change to have a game where you haven't finished it within an hour because it was that easy. Um, you know, and it is really well built. It's you know, great maps, great characters. So I do think it does deserve the like and support. So here we are back in the Skylands Tower of Hell. Um, all the Tower of Hells have been made significantly easier, especially for an iPad user. Um, so that's great work by the developer, even though I'm still rubbish and didn't finish it. Um, I did get that close, it was just infuriating. Um, I will do it, I will! <laughs> Look, look how close I got to King. My failure of obby skills robbed me that I was robbed. I raised it. <laughs> I'll come back and do those Tower of Hells when I've got more time and I'll not be impressioned where I'm being recorded. <laughs> One day I will get those ones. So we are going on to make our way through to Troll Worm.
and the sneaky wrong turn one is just up there and there we have it I don't know why, I just think the Wasteland one felt um, easier as well. Again, I didn't get past that worm before. I think this one had more headhunters in it, if I remember rightly. Mounting, I was right there. I was like, don't flush this, Vicky, don't flush this. And I flushed it. I could kick myself, that was as close as I got to that one, and I've rage flip. So on the side of the map, you will see an eye. And check that bad boy out. This is the He's Already Here worm. How cool is those? I love the monster ones on this game. They are awesome. I prefer them to the normal worms. <laughs> so we've got to go back to God. And then you just have to make your way over this cloud of a to get back to the god kind of moon planet once you're here you just need to run around in a circle around the bottom of the god worm it does work i promise you it didn't do that time i'm not trolling you just keep running <laughs> you'll see when it changes I'd love to have like a little statue or like a little wall wall ornament of that worm in black. I think that looks absolutely awesome, that worm does. <laughs> I love it, that's probably my favourite. So we have a brand new area outside of the grasslands. I will show you what that button does in one second. You do need to press it. I was too busy hunting for the rest of them. I didn't realize what that actually opened. I don't know why that house kind of felt a bit Minecrafty to me. <laughs> How small it was and just the bed upstairs. So round the back um, you will see a blood splatter. That will um, take us to this area. <laughs> now when I was playing it, um, Daddy Judge commented that it looked a bit like a rectum and an intestine. <laughs> Now that's all I can think about, especially as the tunnel is kind of moving like the intestines would do towards the rectum. <laughs> but um, when you're at the bum hole, it kind of like you um, have to go and get nightmare worm. <laughs> oh, 
oh, funny. I can't think of anything else now when I'm running through that tunnel. Birthday worm and no cake or presents. That's so mean and no friends either. Poor birthday worm. So it's super dark, I do apologise, but bomb worm is in the abandoned cabin. Going around the graveyard area now. Love the hollow worm one, that's cool. And we've done launch this one just in time for Halloween. So from the wall, black star worm appears, so they crawl out and then he crawls back again. So it's really just Kind of a matter of timing of hanging around that area until they come out. I do like this about the game is that you have to kind of just be there at the right time. And up to the usual tricks where you literally fall into a worm and die. I do remember doing that quite a lot. If you see my TikTok um, on the game, you will see how many times I oofed. So at the start I showed you the button. Um, it actually opens the door to the hut opposite. There was a slight glitch where it didn't actually give me the badge the first time. Um, so I had to go back, but it did give me the badge the second time. Flopper again. I've just done a marathon video finding it over an hour's worth of floppers over 15 maps. I've kind of had enough of flopper right now. <laughs> So again we have another worm where you just have to kind of hang around on top of the tree. I'm not sure if you'll be able to jump off the kind of big cacti over there. Um, this was just where I picked up the mythical worm from. It is the same location as where they tell you to in the description. But I'm sure if you're on the obby around the cacti at the time you'll pick it up. And there is mystical. If you jump off to the void,
so it looks to be that we have a new area coming and um, the developer says it may take a while so I will be back to do the update when that is loaded just FYI anatomically worms technically don't have bones <laughs> so I'm not sure why he's got a spine <laughs> Add to the effect of being split, I suppose. So for the next two worms, um, again they're on a timer, you're just going to have to hang around the cave, obviously you know where they, they kind of come through the cave, so the cavern worm comes just past behind the torch worm, and I mean he's that big, you can't miss him when he's there. And then look at, check out this worm, check out this worm. So the arachno worm is up where the beautiful place is, and again it's on a timer, but this was just kind of after the cavern worm came through. So a really cool, um, a really cool feature that they've added in this update is you can actually become a worm. How cool is that? <laughs> Didn't find what the, um, but the developer did hint that it's tied to a cave in Lava Land and then said good luck. Um, so I'm assuming that one is super hard to get. Uh, good luck finding that one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care and see you real soon. Bye.